Namaste and welcome to the 73rd Independence Day reception hosted by the High Commission of India in Brunei Darussalam. In 2017, the year in which His Majesty, the Sultan and Yang de Pertuan of Brunei Darussalam, celebrated his golden jubilee of accession to the throne, India ASEAN marked the sil silver jubilee of our dialogue partnership. A number of activities were organized both in India and various ASEAN capitals, including Brunei Darussalam to mark the two momentous occasions. This culminated in the special commemorative summit which was organized in India on 25th January 2018 for all the heads of state and government of ASEAN member countries in which it was our honor to also host His Majesty Sultan Haji Hasnal Bolkiya, Muizuddin Wadullah, Ibn al Mahroom, Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin, Sadul Khairi, Wadin, Sultan and Yang de Pertuan of Brunei Darussalam. During the summit, His Majesty participated in the plenary session, the retreat, commemorative stamps release function, and the gala dinner. It was also our honor that His Majesty participated in the Republic Day celebrations on 26 January 2018, along with the heads of state and government of all other ASEAN member countries. The trajectory of India-Brunei bilateral relations since His Majesty's visit to India has been very encouraging and meaningful. In February 2018, India hosted Dr. Haji Norarfan bin Haji Zainal Rector UNISA and his delegation under the Academic Visitors Program of the Indian Council of Cultural Relations. During his visit, Dr. Noor Arfan signed MOUs with five Indian universities, including Jamia Hamdard University and Aligarh University. In April 2018, young Mulya Dato Seri Paduka Awang Haji Matsatejo bin Sokyo, Deputy Minister in the Ministry of Energy, Manpower and Industry visited India to participate in the 16th International Energy Forum in New Delhi. During the visit, he also met with the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan, apart from visiting NASCOM, the Premier Chamber of Commerce of the tech industry in India, the Unique Identification Authority of India, and a Skill Development Center. In July 2018, young Berhormat Dato Serisetia, Awang Abdul Mutalib bin Pehin Orang Kaya Serisetia, Dato Paduka Awang Haji Muhammad Yusuf, Minister for Transport and Info Communications, visited India to participate in the 10th Delhi Dialogue. During the visit, the minister, along with the former Minister of External Affairs, Her Excellency, Madam Susama Suraj, signed the MOU, renewing the cooperation in the operations of the telemetry and tracking telecommand station for satellite and launch vehicles, and for cooperation in the field of space research and applications. He also visited the ISRO headquarters located in Bangalore. ISRO established a telemetry tracking station in Brunei in 1998. And since then, the station is operated during geosynchronous launches of satellite vehicles from India. A team of engineers from ISRO were recently in Brunei to monitor and track the launch of Chandrayaan-2 mission. The first, the first Joint Trade Committee meeting between India and Brunei took place in Brunei on 5th September 2018. This was an important meeting which provided an opportunity to both sides to identify areas for cooperation in trade and investment. 
In furtherance of the recommendations of the Joint Trade Committee, a three-member Bruneian delegation led by the President of National Chamber of Commerce, Haji Hanafi, and including the Chamber's Vice President, Mr. Malcolm Lim, and Joint Secretary Haji Halim visited India in February 2019 to participate in the India-ASEAN Expo and Summit. On 24th June 2019, the seventh Foreign Office consultations were held after a gap of eight years between the two countries in New Delhi. The Bruneian delegation was led by Haja Dayang Siti Norisan Binti Haji Awang Abdul Ghaffour, Permanent Secretary Bilateral in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Brunei. The Indian side was led by Mrs. Vijay Thakur Singh, Secretary East in the Ministry of External Affairs. During the discussions, a number of areas and sectors for cooperation were identified. During the visit, the Bruneian delegation also met with Secretary Ministry of Human Resource Development, Mr. R. Subramaniam, Secretary Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Mr. Kuti, and Joint Secretary in the Department of Foreign Trade ASEAN in the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. They discussed cooperation in the areas of education, energy, and trade and investments in greater details. Indian diaspora in Brunei is estimated to be around 11,000. It is actively contributing to the Bruneian economy as well as in developing people-to-people -people relationship. The demography of the Indian community in Brunei includes skilled professionals such as doctors, teachers, engineers, IT professionals, businessmen, and semi- and unskilled workers besides a large number of professionals in the oil and gas sector and its related industries. The Indian Chamber of Commerce, established in Brunei in 1972, and which currently has over 100 members, has actively contributed to the Bruneian economic landscape. A number of Indian businesses in textile, retail, and restaurant are established in Brunei. Recently, in 2018, an Indian company, Messrs. Polygel, has established an industrial adhesive production unit in Brunei in partnership with the government of Brunei. The Indian community has many active associations, including the Bandar Seri Bhagavan Indian Association, Indian Association Belai, Sikh Association, Malayali Association, to name a few. There is also the Brunei India Friendship Association, which contributes to play a pivotal role in furthering India-Brunei relations. In his sudden demise, India lost a true friend and a great social champion. For the last five years, the High Commission has been celebrating the International Day of Yoga as is being done by other Indian missions around the world. A yoga instructor from India has been sent to the High Commission in Brunei to conduct yoga classes for interested yoga practitioners. Regular yoga classes are conducted at the Indian High Commission at Pusa Tehsar, Sparta Brunei, and JPMC. I'm happy to state that currently we have over 500 practitioners of yoga registered with the High Commission. Earlier this month, the Commander, Royal Brunei Armed Forces, Major General Pengiran Datu Paduka, Seri Aminan bin Pengiran Haji Mahmood visited India. He met with the Chairman of Chiefs of Staff Committee, Air Chief Marshal Virendra Singh Dhanoa,